two months of no flying in a world of uncertainty. Can one man still remember how to land a plane? Oh, it's silly, isn't it? Sorry, I should apologise. My way of dealing with this utter madness is with humour. Well, as you may know, as of mid-May, most of the UK could get back to normal general aviation. My CFI at Kemble Flying Club decided that I flew recently enough and was competent enough to go fly in any of the school's aircraft. I chose the Sky Ranger for the first flight, though. It's the aircraft I did my training in, I have most hours in, and my plan was to head out locally, very sensibly, get familiar again, come back for some circuits. It does go without saying the aircraft and I had the most thorough of pre-flight checks. Fully planned my route, disinfected the plane before and after the flight. But listen, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click subscribe if you like what you see. Click the notification bell as well. And thanks for watching. So here we are. Welcome to another episode of Learning to Fly. I am absolutely buzzing to be in the cockpit again. So we're going to do a basic little bimble today in the local area and then come back to Kemble for some circuits. There's a couple guys in the circuit already. It's just after 8 o'clock in the morning on a really warm, sunny morning. It's an absolute beautiful day. There's barely any wind, breath of air coming through. So let's hope that everything goes well. So power checks on and locked. Run up area is clear. Brakes will be covered. Soil temperatures come up nicely. Throttle between three and a half and four. Watch those temperatures. And let's go up to three and a half. Let's go to four. Let's, why not? Watch those temperatures. They're looking really good. Oh, well done, David Knight. That looks good in the temps and the T's and the P's. I'm going to drop the other Mac. And that looks really good as well. And back to both. And we'll go idle. Okay, Campbell traffic, Golf Golf Romeo Lima Sierra is lining up. 26 grass. Okay, so here we are, runway. Campbell traffic, Golf Golf Romeo Lima Sierra is taking off. 26 grass. Let's run through those pre takeoff checks. Compass is in line with the runway. Engine T's and P's are good. Wind, it's so light, it's not doing anything. So we might have a longer takeoff roll than normal. We've got one stage of flap in. I'm really happy. So, a little bit nervous. Let's go. RPM max. Acceleration normal. Air speed active. I don't know where we are. 200 feet. Flaps away. Some British Airways jumbo jets down there. Kemble traffic, Golf Golf Romeo Lima Sierra is going to be leaving the circuit to the west and staying local, staying on frequency too. Under the check, under the wind check. There's a thousand feet. T's and P's in the climb are really good. Oh my god, how good does that feel to get back in the air today? Okay, so that felt exceptionally cool. The takeoff went well. Uh, I'm happy with the aircraft at the moment. Car peak can come off now. There's a really c considerable amount of fog actually in the valley this morning, which is surprising looking over to the Cotswold Ridge. And of course the River Seven is down there. So I've got a little bit of a plan, as you should do on all flights of course, is just to head a little bit locally, get some uh, upper air work done. I might get a couple of stalls in. Onto a hazel check if I wanted to get a bit of slow flight in. That's, that's probably quite good. Height. And we are clear of clouds. So what I can do is just get some slow flight on the go. So we're gonna lower the power and hold the nose where it is. All goes quiet. So there we go, this is, uh, well, I wouldn't want to get any slower than that. Airspeed's still coming down. There's 45, still coming down. There's 40. And are we gonna get a stall in a second? Don't move that aileron. Just seeing what the slow flight feels, and there's the stall. Pre-stall, pre it's not even a stall really. 
That is a stunning view when you get that under the wing. So that was uh, what I would sort of call an incipient stall. I d it didn't fully stall. I'm just going to head north now. Uh, again, let's look for traffic, uh, well obviously look for traffic, but look for fields that I can ditch in if uh, the worst should happen. It's quite a, a sort of a valley beneath me to the left. There's some big fields below and there's some big fields to my right as well. It's nice hard ground at the moment, so I would feel pretty confident uh, in that. So I'm going to look under my right wing. Way more right rudder needed. That was not very well coordinated. Pick up the 417 and come into uh, Sirencester. Oh, I've missed this. There's, uh, and actually, I've missed the Sky Ranger. There's something about this aircraft that is just fantastic. Camel traffic, Golf Limit Sierra is crosswind, 26 hard. It's really good to look out. There's no one else I can hear. So trim's good. Wind, we know that's doing. It's very light. All clear, yeah, can't hear anything. Uh, security good fuel sufficient to go around undercarriage fixed and locked and no temperatures and gauges they're really good too Campbell traffic Gulf Limit Sierra is downwind touch and go 26 hard so we're just coming on to base now let's shut that power down and we'll bring it back to there's 70 first stage of flat in Wind is so light. I overshot there a little bit. But let's go full flap. There's full flap. Campbell traffic, Golf Limit Sierra's final touch and go 26 hard. Okay, so here we go then. The first landing after an eight week break. So I was in full concentration mode, hence not talking much. And for me, it was all about a stable approach, as any good landing should be. I wanted to get the speed under control and I wanted to make sure that I landed nice and early on the runway. Hopefully the numbers, which you're about to see, but it wasn't quite that, pretty close. So I had a whole kilometre <laughs> of runway left to sort things out if it didn't quite go to plan. Pretty happy with that. Okay. Flap sets. One POB taxiing down to do sight. So I wanted to get airborne again and do a touch and go on the grass this time. Flaps away. Retrim. Should have retrimmed on the ground. Not to worry. Let's get that speed under control. First stage of flat and trim. So I just wanted to check I could still land on a shorter runway. The grass runway at Kemble is less than half the length of the long tarmac runway. So again, I'm setting myself up for a fairly long final approach, a powered approach again on this one. Of course, it's good to practice both glide approaches and powered approaches. And I'm just looking to keep my speed at 65, no slower than that. Full flap. Double traffic, Golf Limit Sierra, final touch and go, 26 grass. Double traffic, Golf Fox Drop Bravo, at the site, I'm going to enter 26 hard via Alpha 3 for departure down to over farm, returning late on the scene. And a similar thing was aiming for just after the numbers. That was my aiming point at this point. Now I start looking further down the runway as I round out and hold off. Okay, so great. First stage of flap. Knock it back. 
And yeah, it was okay. It was maybe a touch firm, but I certainly was pretty happy with that. Two hundred feet. Flaps away. So I was pretty happy with those couple of circuits back at Campbell, firstly on the hard and then the, the grass runway there. And that actually gave me the confidence to do what I would planned to do before the flight if I felt happy enough to do it. And that was to fly off to Charlton Park. It really isn't far. It's a five minute flight near Malmesbury. And this is something I'm going to show you on the next video. So I just thought I did get PPR yesterday in case I felt comfortable with everything for Charlton Park, which is a two minute flight from Kemble. Um, so I thought I could just pop there and, and have a look. I've never flown into it before, but it's a huge, perfectly smooth, by all accounts, lovely long wide runway, it's grass. It's longer than the Kemble's grass runway. And I just thought I'd, I'd have a look. So make sure you click subscribe. Do not miss this next episode. Thanks again for watching.